Okay, this looks like a really nice location for a mine. And also we've got a really cool looking block model. And yeah, it looks a deep one actually. I wonder what is the deepest iron ore mine in the world? Well, let's go and ask Micromine. What is the, the deepest iron ore mine in the world, Micromine? Okay, it's this mine in Brazil. Okay, what about what is the deepest gold mine in the world? Okay. Oh, it's this one in South Africa and which is about 2.5 miles deep. Well, that's that's great. Thank you, Micromine. Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another amazing feature in Micromine. This is really going to blow your mind if you would like to know how I've done this. Stay around and watch the full video. This video is going to be short, but um, the main reason I've recorded this video is to show you that the possibilities are endless with Micromine, and that's what I keep on always saying, that the only limitation for Micromine, it's not the version, like uh, the features that comes with every version, it's not wireframing, it's not design, it's nothing like that. The only limitation is your imagination. Trust me, that's the only limitation in Micromine. Because if you're thinking about something and if you know how to do that, let's say like practically you have an idea on how to do that, trust me, you can add that feature to Micromine yourself. So I give you an example here. I thought about like most of the time I'm bored when I'm working on a project, for example, and maybe no one is around and I wanna talk to someone I have a question so and usually when you go to your browser and google something you will be distracted by other things so i thought why don't i create like some sort of a virtual assistant that is implemented inside micromine and if i have a question that is related to work or any other question that i want i can just ask that question directly in micromine i'm gonna get that answer so you know, the questions are, you know, they could be related to any topic. You could ask questions about soccer, for example. You can ask questions about geology, mining engineering, geoscience, GIS, whatever is the question that comes to your mind. And Micromind is going to give you an answer. If you want a short answer, you'll get a short answer. If you want like a really long one, you can get that one. So let me show you an example here. So. I got this one, nice UI, so I can really run this as a script, but I wanted something that's really cool and user-friendly, so I can be chatting with Micromine. So you can see, how can I help you, mining geologists? It's called Micromine Assistant. There's a, an S there, I should remove that. But okay, so let's say, for example, what, what is a variogram? What is a variogram? Maybe I don't know what is a variogram. Maybe it's something that I've seen in here or it's uh, a new feature or it's a new method or a new estimation method and I don't know what is that. So maybe I'm a beginner in Micromine and some of the terminologies that everyone in the office is using, I don't know what is that. So, and I'm a little bit shy to ask that. So I don't look like I'm stupid. So I'm, I don't want to just open Google so everyone will be thinking that I'm Googling that. So I can ask Micromine, what is a variogram? Okay, and you can see that you have, that's the variogram. Oh, so that's a variogram. And then you can go and ask about, you know, ask Micromine any question that comes to your mind. So you can just throw in a mathematical equation or maybe you're working on a report and uh, you're, 
you know, you forgot to drink your coffee in the morning, so you cannot, you don't have the right words to start that, you know, um, resource estimation report. And uh, what you can do is you can tell Micromind to give you like a, a template for a specific section. And Micromind is going to do that for you. And all you have to do is to just, you know, try to tweak that a little bit, or at least it's going to get you started. So that's a cool thing. And it's something that I really um, enjoyed using. And um, yeah, so the only thing here, guys, is I'm not going to go through how I created this one step by step because it's going to be a little bit advanced for some of you. And um, yeah, and the tutorial is going to be a really long one. So I'm going to just leave the code for this one. So if you have a Micromind license and you would like to use this one, and um, I'm going to just put this in my uh, Patreon page. So if you're interested in that one and you want to know how to use it, you can find it there. But other than that, the message is I wanted to tell you that everything is possible in Micromind. Your imagination is the only limitation. So uh, think about something, and I'm sure you can create that in, in Python. Python is a really easy to learn language, uh, programming language. So, and um, that's it, guys. I hope that this was inspiring for some of you. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this one, and if you have any other ideas. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Share this with anyone who might be interested. And with that being said, see you next time. He's the mining geologist here to show you all the things that you might have missed. He's got plenty of software tips and tricks for your geoscience lives. So get your fix of mineral exploration and mining engineering information and check. Subscribe